Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with our Orzov Monastery Mentor deck. So, Monastery Mentor is one of my favorite cards, and it's been a while since I've messed around with it, so figured might as well just brew up something fun with this. This might not be the best uh, version of the deck, obviously, but I had a blast playing it on the ladder, and it led to some really fun games. So, Monastery Mentor, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you create a 1-1 Monk with Prowess, and Prowess, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, the creature gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. So, if the Mentor isn't dealt with, and you can just chain a bunch of non-creature spells, you're going to have an army of monks that can get really big really quick. So to help trigger our Monastery Mentor, we're running a decent amount of cheap interaction. We have some Loren's Escape to help protect our threats, Cut Downs, Go for the Throats, Soul Partition, Invasions of Gobicon, and then getting into the more expensive end, we have Lily of the Veil, Wedding Announcement, Emperor. Mondrak doesn't trigger the Mentor, but being able to double up on tokens is pretty cool, so we're just going to run two of him, and two Invasions of Tolvada to reanimate either dead Mentors, Mondraks, or Emperors. And on the backside, it anthems our tokens, gives them lifelink, and gives us 1 1 white flyers, or 1 1 white black and white flying spirit tokens. So this deck is definitely pretty fun, but it is not uh, the most competitive on the ladder. It took me a while to get some decent wins, but if you guys are excited to see this in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate it. I have been uploading to YouTube every single day for the past six months, and I'm around 45% of the way towards getting partnered, so any help on this journey is really appreciated. With all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. Alrighty, game one. Um, hmm. His hand is just a little bit too slow. We're gonna be on the draw, so we can't keep that. This is better, we just don't have a black source, so I think we could... I think we can just put back the cut down. We can at least guarantee that we can get to the wedding announcement with our farm hands. Ooh, let's search up the next planes. Nothing from the opponent yet. Interesting. Let's attack for one. And they're gonna Elspeth smite. Okay. Let's just play a mentor here, I think. Let's see if it sticks. We have two. Cool, he sticks. I was kind of worried they might have had a fateful absence, but at least he's around right now. Oh, spoke too soon. March of otherworldly light. And they get rid of an emperor. And they respect the mentor. At least they're smart. Let's play the farm hand. We'll search up planes, and I think we play the invasion. Or we just play the Mentor, and we can do that next turn. Hmm. We forced him into a rough spot last turn with the Mentor. Maybe we just do it again. Let's hope they don't have another march. Cool. No stick. Man, we're finding all the Mentors this game. Let's search up our next planes. And let's invade. We'll make a monk and trigger prowess. They dissipate. Okay. I don't think we attack here. They run Elspeth's Smite. 
don't want to run the mentor into that. Oh, let's pass. No land here is pretty rough. Let's just go with the announcement. We'll make a monk, trigger some prowess. We can attack with everybody here. And there's an emperor, which is rough. We could have held the mentor I'm back, so might have been smart to hold that Let back. But they make a the samurai. Talking. Okay. Let's draw. And another Mondrak. We're hitting not the correct pieces of the deck currently. Uh, if we could draw a swamp here, that'd be pretty good. Nope. At least it's a fifth land, but not the right color. Well, let's play the next announcement. I think we just send both of these guys at the Emperor. Soul partition on their own emperor, okay. I mean, that's not bad. They can reuse the ability, they can block and give the first strike. And at least we can draw two. Finally hit black. Teferi. Oh, that's rough. Teferi plus emperor is not a good combo. They can tap our mentor down, and they can exile it, and it looks like they are going to be doing that. <laughs> this is what you get for hurting my people. In for three, we'll take it. Let's play the land. I think we just go for the throat here. And they cycle their land. Alright, so they are tapped down. Well, let's take out the Emperor. I think we leave the farmhand back. We can play the Mondrak, we can make four tokens. That might be better? I don't know. Maybe it is better to draw cards, because we don't have too much going on in the hand. Let's send the Pokemon. Still have much to learn. Let's pass. And we do hit an Emperor. Not bad. So we can at least flash that out with our four untapped planes. And they minus the Teferi. The looks for one of us. <laughs> There's the Sunfall. Let's play the Emperor. We'll make a Samurai. We can use that to attack down the Teferi. They have one mana, they can't activate the Incubator. They still don't, or they still could have the Elspeth smite, so let's plus and then attack for four. It's only a matter of time. We'll let's play a swamp and a mod track. We'll make some tokens. And we pass. in the graveyard besides the go for the throat. Well, let's go to combat. In with everybody. They transform the incubator. And there's an Elspeth smite. I guess that was the right play the, the other turn with that samurai if they were holding on to that card. And they jump the Mondrak. 
and we hit for eight. We'll make two more samurai, and we pass. They hit a memory deluge. If they hit an untapped land sunfall, that's pretty good, but we still have a decent amount of cards to build back with. There's a Jace, and a GG's. Nice. Inventor works. <laughs> Alrighty, next game. Hand is pretty good. Announcement into Emperor is pretty good. We can hold open the Mentor for the late game. Just so we don't have to deal with any early pressure, we can also stay even on tempo. Let's go with the announcement. And cut down is also a good draw with the mentor. So once we hit the fourth land, we can play it, and we should also have an immediate activation, so we can get a monk out of it at least. They play a tapped land and pass. Let's play the land, attack. We'll make our token and we pass. Blast zone. Opponent is playing a lot of utility lands and they go with the sword. Consider yourself Okay. Not too bad. Let's make our emperor play. Make a samurai. Keep watch for intruders. And do we want to get the mentor out here? Or do we want to go with the farm hand? We can search up the planes. Oh, we already played our land for turn. <laughs> I was thinking we can play that Mentor into the cut down, but we'll just cut it down. We have enough creatures to attack through, and we can draw cards off the wedding announcement. Let's plus on the farm hand, since it can turn into a life flanker. Graveyard Trespasser. And they eat my soul partition. Ooh, that's plus. And they were holding on to a cut down. We got it out of the hand before the mentor came down. Let's get in for six. If they want to block, I'm fine with that, I think. Cool. Let's play the land. And do we want to play the mentor here? Or no? We've only seen one cut down. They probably have removal. Let's just hold. Lily of the Veil. It's not bad, Enough but we do have mysteries. you know, some tokens to choose. Or to choose from. And they play a graveyard glutton. And they eat some creatures. Let's just go for the throat here. We could wait until our turn to play the Mentor and then use it, but I'd rather just be mana efficient. Let's take down the Lily. 
play the mentor. Plus, no, that's minus. And we'll invade Gobagon. Cool. We'll exile that. Six mana Soren or four mana Tenacious Underdog. Nothing. Interesting. Well, nothing really to reanimate with the invasion. Let's go to combat. One samurai. Two samurais can go there. And the mentor we can keep back. Just in case there was an emperor that was top decked. Well, look at that. <laughs> They make a samurai, and they can block the monk. We flip our invasion. We'll trigger our mentor again. Let's make another samurai. We can pass from here, and put some counters on the samurai. The opponent makes a samurai, and they go with the six man sword. And they might not. Out of my way! I have a way to stop. You deal this annoyance. Nothing in the graveyard still. We could sacrifice the light shield array. Oh no, it's a non battle permanent, so I guess we can't do that. We could just keep minusing the Emperor to give us a, you know, a powerful permanent to get back is pretty good. We'll send some creatures at the Emperor and... Hmm. They have a 2-3 which makes attacks a little annoying. I think we just send in the samurai here. We'll keep our mentor back still. We don't want to use up our light shield array yet. And they double block. Well, let's kill the vampire. I'll be back. Down goes the emperor. Keep watch for we'll make a samurai. I guess we can hold on to it just in case they have another trespasser and we top deck could go for the throat. And they plus Soren and they hit Blood Field of Rouge. A fair trade. They blitz out the underdog. No attacks. They just wanted to draw the card. Back to us. Let's minus. Still have much to learn. And we'll invade we Tolvada. Trigger the mentor. Trigger the monk. Let's bring the emperor back. Let's go to combat. We'll send both of those samurai at the invasion. The samurai and the monk at Soren. And the mentor at them. We just want to make sure we take out their planeswalker and we flip our invasion. They cut down our 2 2 monk. Okay. And they block the mentor. What's one more grudge? Let's cast the broken sky and trigger the monk and the prowess. Let's make another samurai. We'll pass, make a dude, and put some counters on stuff. 
opponent's going to sacrifice the dross pits to draw. And that's the game. GG's. That board was disgusting. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, next game. On the play, the hand is a little weak. I'd like to see a third land. We do have removal. We're gonna keep it, of course, but we definitely have to rely on the top of the deck. Another Emperor, not really what we want to see. Let's invade while we have the time. Well, at least the hand isn't super powerful. I think we take the play with fire. A three mana for two damage is not a very good deal for the opponent. And they hit a Felton. Oh. Thankfully, we did hit a third land, and it is a black source, so we can cut down and go for the throat. Epicure. And in for three. Let's cut down the Swifty. And we'll go for the throat Felton. It's going to cycle one of their end the festivities. Pretty good choice by them. Still no fourth land. Or still no fourth land. We didn't hit the fourth land off the top. Mech Warfare. Well, that's annoying. At least we can soul partition that. It does get a little spendy, so... Unless I have another land in hand. We can at least play Lily here. We'll sacrifice. Enough with and the she mysteries. can't eat the last I'm and the best to please, I suppose. Off you go. But if they cast that this turn, they definitely aren't casting the Mech Warfare. Fine. I know when I'm not wanted. And they finally fire off that uh, play with fire. The one card on top is the land. No fourth land still. Let's play the announcement. Well, there it is. Another mech warfare. Or they play the mech warfare out of exile, I mean. We'll attack the invasion to two. Make another dude. And we pass. Sweet. That's not bad. We do have the Emperor, thankfully. Run away. Minus. You'll be safer. I'm almost sad to see you go. And we'll take our block. Alright, Emperor eats another plane. I'm with never fire. done for good. Um, let's not attack the invasion. It'll flip into a 2 2. Let's just get a damage into the face. And we'll make another, and we pass. Swifty. Well, let's play the Emperor. Now you've done it. Hats come. And off. they're just gonna lightning strike that right away. We could plus to save it, but we're gonna minus gain some life. My judgment is Since they legend. are out of cards, we can just kinda take over the game. Let's play the farmland, or the farm hand, search up the plains, and they concede. GG's. Not too bad. Thank you everybody for watching, I appreciate it.
like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.